President Mahmoud Buhari has assured of a peaceful election on Saturday, as he said that any comment or threat of intimidation from any source does not represent the position of his government. In a national speech on NTA on Thursday, Buhari asked Nigerians to vote for him in an unusual last-minute effort to sway voters through a broadcast that was expected to be non-partisan. After initially calling for a peaceful election on the Nigerian Television Authority and assuring he would pretend a credible and fair poll, the president delved into the lengthy address that enumerated the effort of his administration. Buhari said his government would do its best to ensure that the 2019 election take place in a secure and peaceful atmosphere. Chief of Defense Staff General Abayomi Olorun Shakin has won against illegal use of military uniform and firearm to scuttle the 2019 general elections. Olorun Shakin spoke after the meeting with other service chiefs and head of security agencies at Defense Headquarters in Abuja. He said the military were not unaware of plan to illegally use uniform of the military and paramilitary agencies to impersonate security and law enforcement agencies illegal procession and use of firearms to intimidate, harass members of the public and other acts likely to cause security breaches, he said. He said force and other security agencies will not tolerate any act that is likely to cause security breach before, during and after the election. He also said members of the public should disregard the call to stay at home on the day of the election being circulated in some part of the country. Various security agencies have been reviewing their strategies to ensure adequate security and protection for all Nigerians and other nationals living in Nigeria before, during, and after the general election in February and March 2019. This is in line with our various constitutional responsibilities. There has also been several interagency collaborations and harmonizations of these strategies. The meeting we have just had involved the head of these agencies to ensure we further harmonize and strategize to provide adequate security for the smooth conduct of the general elections. In two days' time, the 2019 general election will begin. The Nigerian government the people of Nigeria as well as international community are all desirous of a free, fair, transparent, credible, and most importantly, violence-free election. Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief has also told us in clear terms in our meeting with him of his commitment to free, fair, and credible elections. I wish to say that the armed forces of Nigeria, as well as other security and intelligence agencies, are also committed to a violent free election and that all Nigerians eligible to vote are to carry out their civil responsibility and vote for candidates of their choice without any fear of molestation by any person or group. Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has ordered restriction of vehicular movement from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday. The Presidential National Assembly election will hold on February 16. In a statement by the first postman, Frank Mba, Assistant Commissioner of Police, announced this on Thursday. 
he said the restriction will assist the security agencies to effectively police the electoral process and prevent criminally minded element from disrupting the electoral process. Mba said the IGP or the citizen to go out a mass on the day of the election to exercise their franchise without any fear or apprehension. He said the force regret the inconveniences the restriction will have caused the citizen. Ahead of the presidential and national assembly election, the Kano State Police Command says it has arrested two suspects in possession of 14 bags of fake specimen ballot paper in Kano Metropolis. The command proper relation officer, DSP Abdullah Haruna, who made the confirmation to newsmen in Kano, said the suspect were apprehended around Metro Police Area Command. He said the suspect were apprehended on Wednesday evening by some police officer attached to Metro Area Command. Aruna said during the interrogation, the suspect said they came from Jigawa State, adding that the material were meant for sensitization and orientation purposes. The ballot papers are specimens, so they are not genuine ballot paper, he said. He said the investigation was still ongoing as the case has since been transferred to the State Criminal Investigation Department, CID. Candidates of different political parties have highlighted their visions and work plan if elected into power come February 16, 2019. The candidate at a debate organized by the Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, and Federation of West African Freelance Journalists Association said a lot need to be fixed in the country, which they believe is not working well. I know where to find the best talent. I know what Nigeria needs. Nigeria needs to follow the rule. Nigeria needs to obey. Nigeria is not about criminality, Nigeria is not about corruption, Nigeria is about talent and opportunities. The only thing I see here are wonderful people who are in this room who want a better man and a greater country. Do we want a better and a greater country, yes or no? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, so I'm from the Yes Party. Yes, electoral solidarity is basically formed for the sake reason of making Nigeria a better and a greater country. So for Change Nigeria Party, uh, we have looked at it from A, saying to ourselves, we need to come up with an economic plan for growth and development that works. And we've called that plan Changeonomics. And what is Changeonomics? Changeonomics seeks to create 30 million jobs. And how do we create 30 million jobs in four years? It's through ensuring a private sector-driven investment approach in the agricultural value chain, in the um, tourism value chain, in the creative industry value chain, um, in the infrastructure value chain, and then we are looking at affordable housing. We are saying, when we are in government, anyone who earns between 10,000 naira to 70,000 naira, which is like 60 to 70 percent of Nigerians, can afford a home with mortgage. We are saying you can walk into a car shop, pay for a car, and all you have to drop is five percent of the cost of that car, pay for over three to five years. We are saying that if you are a Nigerian, you can actually have 24 hour electricity and all you need to pay is the installation and you never have to pay for electricity for the rest of your life. So change economics is saying, listen, to get Nigeria to become a competitive nation amongst nation states, we have to become a manufacturing country that can export. We have to actually manufacture at scale. We have the consumer population number. We must take advantage of the market also that is available to us at the continental level. So develop agriculture sector education sector, health, infrastructure, because oil and gas sector is the sector where we get, like I said before, 85% of our revenue, which means that's our couch cow. And this is unfortunately the most disorganized sector. It is not managed in a manner to tell you that the bulk of our revenue is from that sector. For instance, today, that sector is run on manual basis. When you, when you plant, and you are dressed, and you don't have good roads to take them to the market. You do not have good storage facilities. You don't even have that technology. 
to store it for six months to be able to export it abroad. Then we are deceiving ourselves. But when that technology is in place, in which we will put in place as SNC, then we will find out that agriculture will be self-sufficient in the country and we will be able to replace the oil to make foreign reserves because we will earn dollars and the foreign reserves will grow from Thank there. Thank you, Benny. That is Brussels, you know, Paris. I have worked in several small and medium scale companies in the entire Schengen, including the Benelux territories. Small cottage industries, as we call them, well managed. And I have ample experience in this, and that is why I'm promising Nigeria minimum of 10,000 cottage industries within the first two years of our administration. I'm not saying for two years. Each local government will be uh, through the R and D we have done in our Marshall Plan. There is no local government that does not have something to offer. So we shall create minimum of hundred hundred. In the early sixties, the King of Saudi Arabia used to come to Nigeria for medical treatment at the University College Hospital in Baden. That's how good we were in those days. But today, our leaders end up in Saudi Arabia. The king of Saudi Arabia doesn't come anymore. And you look at everything, you wonder, how did we go so wrong? It is sad, it is unfortunate. It is not that we don't have the talent. Some of the best surgeons and physicians in the United States, UK, Germany, are Nigerians. If we create the right and enabling environment in this country, we will be able to bring them back. But if given the opportunity by the grace of God, and to serve as the number one citizen in this country, that my priority will be our youth. And that I say that, that the, when it's time to appoint, I said about 50% of all the appointments will go to our youth, uh, such as ministers, executive directors, and DGs, and what have you. And I said that 40% of that will be available for the children of the less privileged, which we also call them the children of the poor, and people that their parents actually, some of them sold their jewelries to give them a quality education. And some of them borrowed money. And at the end of the day, we have over 40 million graduates out there today that are jobless, while some of them are Kada riders. And I know that's one of the reasons why we have crimes all over the place in the country. So I said that our youth will be a priority in my list. There's only one description for the way Nigeria is today and that is, it is not the best it could be. I don't know how good it could have been, but it didn't have to be this bad. And we have a bad nation, and a bad nation needs to be fixed. For 40 years, I've studied the administration of one of the best countries in the world. In fact, arguably the greatest country in the world, the United States of America, the strongest country we have on the surface of the earth today. And I notice one thing. It's not because they have two heads. It's not because their blood is green, it's because they care. If we show the same level of interest in our country, we can be the same. I see how much we have achieved in America. I mean, your brothers and sisters, who by the way sent their greetings. Nigerians are keeping America afloat today because of their ingenuity and their exceptionalism. And I wonder, why can't we be that way? is that we want to build a policy-driven economy based on national development for the benefit of the downtrodden. And with the vision of building trust within all Nigerians so that they can work together for the present and in the future of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Of Progressive Congress candidate President Muhammad Buhari and his main contender from the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, didn't show their presence at the debate in Abuja, LM Chukwemeka Report.
former president of United States, Bill Clinton, as former President Muhammad Wari ahead of the Saturday poll. Presidential spokesperson Femi Adichino in a statement said the former U.S. president regretted his inability to visit the country to witness the signing of the Final Peace Accord before the general elections. Buhari Abubakar Tiku of the main opposition party, PDP, and other presidential candidates on when they signed the second phase of the peace accord for the 2019 general election organized by the National Peace Committee under the chairmanship of the former head of state, Abdul Salam Abubakar. Clinton which Nigeria were as a citizen go to the poll. Very appreciated Clinton for his continuous support for Nigeria and the growth of our democracy. He described him as a friend of the country while commending his constant support for the peace, stability, and progress of Nigeria under a democratic dispensation. President Buhari also assured him of his commitment to free, fair, and credible election. The national chairman of All Progressive Congress, Adam Oshiomale, has accused the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, of colluding with the opposition party, People's Democratic Party, ahead of the forthcoming general election. The chairman in the chat with journalist in Abuja said INEC has not been fair with the ruling party. Oshiomale explained that some top officials of INEC are allegedly working for the opposition party, PDP. As we speak, there are two wrecks in the South-South who are virtually campaigning light by light with PDP. As we speak, in the South-South, two resident electoral commissioners. INEC, without giving us any explanation and without any concrete evidence, went ahead to say that we cannot conduct elections in Zafara. We can't fit candidates in Zafara, Zafara State, thereby seeking to award, without any contest, nullify democracy in Zafara State. Is that the way your friends behave, if they are our friends? ANEC is working more for PDP based on evidence I can show. I can show. How can they explain that a court of competent jurisdiction gave orders in Zafara to say, feed these candidates are eligible to contest election? Another high court in Abuja also gave a verdict saying, APC did not conclude his primaries. But he didn't give any order to INEC. There is no order issued by the Abuja High Court to INEC. This matter was pronounced upon today by the, by the Court of Appeal, that there is no order from Abuja High Court. But there, was, there is a concrete existing order from a Zafara High Court, which upheld the primaries that were conducted in Zafara. The INEC chairman had said, when there are two judgments, they will adopt the last judgment. Candidate and member of All Progressive Congress, APC lawyer to Tony Cole in River State, on Thursday barricaded the head office of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Port Accord, accusing the electoral body of conniving with the People Democratic Party, PDP, to deny its candidate participation in the forthcoming general election. The resident electoral commissioner, Obo Efanga, who arrived at the office was barred from entering his office. The peaceful protest led by 
Oji Ongofa, ambassador of Nigeria to Netherlands, who is the APC central candidate for River South East, accused INEC of receiving service on the stay of execution order by the Court of Appeal on the judgment of Justice Kolaulio Motosho of the Federal High Court, but to wonder why INEC refused to comply with the order. He wonder why Governor Ison Wiki and PDP were afraid of the opposition party, alleging that the governor has bribed all the institutions in the state to pave way for him to ride freely to an undeserved election, but vow that the APC will assist him and his member. As Nigerians goes to poll, the Vice President, Jemio Shibadu, has urged Nigerians to shun voting base on sentiment. He gave this advice during his out-to-house campaign, which took him to a bar for Mowe and Ifo local government area of Ogun State, near Lagos. Speaking during his door-to-door -door campaign in Mowe, the Vice President reiterated the need for Nigerians to avoid voting base on emotion but to vote on honest and truthful leader. He urged Nigeria not to vote along tribal and religion line, but to vote for the truth. He assured Nigeria that President Mohamed Buhari led administration who complete all ongoing projects if re-elected. The Vice President also urged Nigeria to re-elect President Buhari to guarantee the completion of the projects initiated by the present administration and plan new projects across Nigeria.